Hello and welcome to the next in our video series on the Ad Analysis Essay. In this video we're going to talk about the outline, just one of many organizational options you could use to be successful with this essay project. So this outline is specific to Essay 3, where you're going to be analyzing a community-based advertisement and arguing how effectively that advertisement is reaching its target audience to accomplish its purpose by using rhetoric. So you're going to first start with an introductory paragraph. Our paragraphs begin with hooks, something that engages the reader's interest and makes them want to read further. Hooks can be startling facts or statistics. They could be a slogan for the product. They could be a question, a rhetorical question that asks your reader to think differently about something. We want to make sure that we're engaging that reader's attention. After we've included a hook, then we move into the context. We want to outline where we found the ad or perhaps some info on advertising in general. Then we want to move on to the thesis. The thesis needs to accomplish several specific tasks, all of which are outlined in the thesis worksheet. The thesis should include the context for your ad, where it was found, a reference to your target audience, which rhetorical appeals you plan to analyze, and then the purpose of the ad, what's literally being sold and figuratively being sold. After we've created a solid thesis from which we're going to build our essay, we're going to move on to the body paragraphs. The first body paragraph is going to address audience and talk about your image. So you're going to use descriptive details to show your reader the ad with your words. As with our last project, you are going to be including a copy of the ad on your Works Cited page but we do also want to use descriptive detail to show the reader with our words exactly what that ad looks like as we begin our analysis. After we've described the ad, we want to identify that target audience demographic. Refer back to our PowerPoint from earlier in the week about audience awareness in advertising. We want to identify the age, gender, religion, politics, education, economics, all of those demographic categories of who our target audience is. And we want to acknowledge the context and location for the ad because that further supports the identification of our audience. After we've created that first body paragraph, we're going to move into the analysis paragraphs. We want to break down at least three rhetorical appeals. So select ethos, pathos, logos, or kairos. Uh, we want three of those to be focused in on this essay. We're going to start those paragraphs by identifying the rhetorical appeal being used. Then we want to show how that appeal impacts your specific audience. Feel free to use the visual design elements in this, perhaps saying that focal point helps support the ethos of the ad because it calls attention to the logo presented. So you can feel free to use those design elements as well as your knowledge of rhetoric in this analysis. Once we show how that appeal impacts the specific audience, you want to provide examples from the ad to support that analysis. You can connect back to the literal and figurative things being sold at the end of these paragraphs. We always want to make those clear connections back to the thesis and the purpose behind our essay. Then we'll provide a transition sentence to the next paragraph. We remember that transitions are made 50% of the paragraph we're in and 50% of the paragraph that's coming next. They're going to sum up the ideas of our current paragraph and hint at what's coming next so that our readers can draw logical connections between the ideas throughout the essay. We're going to do as many of those body paragraphs as necessary. Like I said, at least three of the rhetorical appeals need to be addressed, but feel free to use all four if you wish. A couple optional body paragraphs you can include in this essay, one of which is a critical analysis. We're a very positive group by nature, which is fabulous. So we're always talking about how well something's being used in an image. However, not everything is always used effectively. So if you find a flaw in the ad, something that's not effectively using rhetoric or is failing in using a visual element of design, feel free to point that out. It's okay to have that critical lens as we look at these ads, what's being effectively used, but also what might be ineffective. It's good to outline that as well. So if you would like to include a critical analysis paragraph in this essay, I highly recommend that showing your own ethos as a writer, as you can show balance between things that are working well and some things that could benefit from further attention. Another optional paragraph you can include in this essay to help you get to the page length is a discussion of ads in general. Because the ad industry makes such an economic impact, we can discuss how we're all affected by ads every day. 
And then perhaps whether it's good to be aware of that as you now are, is there value in this knowledge? Is there value in being a conscientious, aware consumer or is ignorance truly bliss as the saying goes? So you can go ahead and discuss ads, their impact, and whether being aware of that impact has value. And then in the conclusion, we wanna restate our thesis, summarize the main elements of our analysis, and share a big idea or answer a so what question for the reader. We wanna wrap this thing up uh, communicate clearly with our reader what the purpose of that advertisement is, both the literal and figurative purpose, and then leave them with something to think about. Remember, you'll need at least two outside sources for this essay. You can use the PowerPoint we discussed in class, uh, which is linked in the calendars for you, or you can use the LASN article, research you find about the ad industry, research on the source of your ad, a lot of different options are possible for this essay. So if you get stuck trying to find those outside sources, please reach out to the CBC librarians or send me a message. I'd be happy to help you clarify your search terms. Because PowerPoints can be tricky to cite in MLA format, I've included a sample for you here, both for the in-text citation and for the works cited page. This is just one organizational strategy you can use for our third essay. Feel free to use this organizational strategy, but also feel free to make your own organization as long as you create those clear connections between the thesis and the body paragraphs and provide clear transitions to organize your writing. As always, if you have any questions, please reach out via email or in Canvas Messenger. Check the Modules tab in Canvas to make sure that you've got all of the necessary supporting materials for this essay. And I look forward to reading your work.